how to structure an expert bio that will gain you followers utilizing Instagram's newest profile update. Okay. I'm Samantha and welcome to the video. So Instagram has definitely been on a roll with the new updates and improvements this past month and the profile section has undergone a slight renovation that I'm going to go over in this video. And I'm also going to teach you how to create the best Instagram profile so you can gain followers and engagement faster. So first things first, what's changed? So the first thing you'll notice is the new tab experience where you can now scroll across your profile from your feed to IGTV, shopping, and tagged photos. Now before, IGTV had a little circle video in your highlights section, which is now gone. So if you haven't been utilizing IGTV yet, Instagram has definitely made it a focal point now and it's giving its users easier access to watch videos with the swipe across feature across the feed. Secondly, in the actual bio section, even though you're already limited on character space, many still can have a pretty lengthy bio vertically if you use short words or you list out what you're all about. Now, after three to four lines, depending on how long your bio is, users will have to click the dot 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 more button to read the rest. So two things to keep in mind here. What you've got listed as the first three lines, which I'll help you write out later in this video, is the most crucial part because many people will be too lazy to click the dot 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 more button. And it's also very close to the link in bio button as well. So if they go to click and accidentally click the link in bio instead, we all know what happens from there. They usually leave your page and they go down another rabbit hole. So make things super easy for your followers or your new potential followers to do on there. A few other things that have changed Changed. The follow button has now moved to below the written bio section because it's now next to the message, contact, etc. So the whole layout just looks much cleaner with just having the numbers at the top, the written bio, and then all the other buttons below under that. So that's the update. Nice job, Instagram. So now I'm going to give you four actionable steps on how to create the best bio so you can establish yourself as an expert in your niche so that when anyone stops on your profile, they know exactly what they're following you for. Step number one, have an awesome profile picture that stands out. Now, if you're a personal brand, it should be a picture of you. Colorful backgrounds work great and are eye-catching. You can also put a circular little border around the picture too. You can use like websites like Canva to do that to make it stand out even more. And also have a story on your profile 24 seven so people know that you're active. Now, I know you guys might be thinking, Sam, that's step one, have a good profile pic, cool, thanks. But you guys don't understand, there's so many accounts that I audit in my community or in my academy all the time, and people like show me their profiles and how proud of them they are, and I'm like, that's a picture of your cat. Where's you? Have your face or like your upper half of your body. I'm in fitness, so of course in my profile picture, I show my abs, but have it make it be you, especially if you're a personal brand. If you're building this for a business or something else, a logo will suffice or something else to do with your brand that people can like make a connection with that it's you, put that in there. Step number two, your Instagram name. Now I'm talking about the bold part that you can easily edit, not your actual handle. Now this is searchable on Instagram. So if you already have your name as your handle, then you really don't need to repeat it again, to be honest. So I would utilize this space by putting in your niche or what you are an expert in. For example, in mine, I have fitness pro and business coach. Now many people search fitness and business on Instagram. So whatever your niche is, I would put this in there for the searchability and visitors can see instantly what you do and what your account is all about. Step number three is the written bio section. This is one of the most crucial parts on Instagram. It's your business card. It determines if people are going to follow you or not. Many underestimate it, but your bio is one of the most important things about your account and we need to make sure that it is not crappy. Hashtag no crappy bios. <laughs> so if your bio section is all about you with info that doesn't matter, or it's only about your products or even worse, things like coffee addict or your boyfriend's Instagram account handle or that you love puppies or that you're a Taurus. And if those things have nothing to do with what you're an expert in, that's what makes up a crappy bio because you don't look professional and you look like a regular for fun amateur account and people who don't personally know you, they're not gonna wanna follow you. So how do you write an expert bio? What you wanna do is use three lines or less answering to what I like the call, to call the three W's and make it short and to the point. Because remember, 
more than three lines, people are gonna have to click that dot, 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 see more button or that more button. And you don't wanna have to do that. You want people, as soon as they come to your profile, have it be super simple, they know exactly what you do. So these are the three W's. W number one, who are you? For example, your profession that ties into your niche, personal trainer, makeup artist, model, traveler, chef, business strategist. Again, put this in your name section so you don't have to repeat it in the written description since we're limited to three little lines. What do you do? For example, I help fill in the blank. I help women get fit. I help you find the best travel deals on a budget. I help struggling entrepreneurs get more sales. What can you help people with? People are on Instagram for themselves. They're selfish. They want to see what can you do for them? Tell them. And why should I follow you? What value do you provide? For example, what will you be posting? I post workout videos daily, or I post how to makeup videos. I post travel deals. Give people a reason why they should follow you. And step four, have a bio link that generates leads. Get your followers to know you faster and give them something for free from your expertise. Now I've created an entire video just on optimizing your LinkedIn bio to generate leads and sales. So you definitely want to watch this video right here. And you don't want to skip this important step because if you're growing a personal brand or business on Instagram, then growing an email list is key for when you start selling products or creating content on other platforms. And think about it this way. You don't own Instagram and if you lose it, it gets deleted, you lose access, whatever that is, how are you going to get in contact with all those followers in your entire community that you have there? You've got to have some sort of backup plan so you can send them emails and tell them where to find you or what else you have going on. So those are the four steps. So take a look at your Instagram page constructively. Which steps do you need to work on? Tell me in the comments below and just think about it. Who would follow you? Would you follow you? If the answer is no, it's time to revamp it with this process that I just went over. And I also recommend asking friends or coworkers to look at your account and ask them what they first think when they first read and see your bio section. See what they say. And if they respond with something that is not what you're trying to push out on Instagram or what you're trying to be, then it's definitely time to rewrite it again. And if you learned something new from this video, I would love to hear from you. Take a screenshot of this video right now as you're watching. Post it to your stories, tag me, and tell me what you learned. And I'm gonna reshare on my Instagram page too. The bigger and faster that this community grows, the more information I can put out more often. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this a like before you head out. And if you haven't downloaded my updated for 2019 Instagram Like a Boss post checklist, then don't forget to grab it in the description below. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to check these out as well. Bye.